was having dinner with my aunt at the Millbrook Inn in Poughkeepsie. As we were heading out, I saw Serena checking in with Mr. Donovan. I, I can't believe he got a flat tire in that weather. Trip to the Mary McCarthy collection at the Vassar Library is so not worth it. <laughs> Why don't you uh, dry off and get something to eat, and I'll go take care of that car. What? Are you kidding me? You're not going back out there. You'll drown. The tire's not going to fix itself. Yeah, but it'll stop raining by morning. Maybe we could get a room. Serena. Come on. You can't act like you haven't thought about it. The ability to have thoughts and not act on them is what separates man from beast. You're not going to quote your way out of this. I know what the stakes are for you, for me too. But this is real on both sides. And if you deny it, you're lying. I'm not a liar. I'm not going to deny anything. I care about you very much, Serena. Which is why I'm going to brave the weather and fix the tire so I can drive you home so you can sleep in your own bed tonight. You know, I think he was the only guy to ever say no to me. <laughs> I was in love with him. Well, as in love as I had ever been at that point. After that, I, I, I didn't know how to act around him, so... We, uh, we never really talked again. This must have been very disappointing to the 16-year-old adventurous that you were at the time. But when you tell this story now, what does it make you think? That Ben Donovan was a pretty great guy.